Electric vehicles are the future. If you're already driving one, you're probably wondering why aren't more people driving? But there is a single concern, a problem that I think needs to be resolved, and that is getting enough materials for the battery supply chain. They're saying that it is going to take nine times as much lithium as is produced today uh, in 10 years. And that is incredible growth. But how does it grow that fast? There are some misconceptions that need to be clarified. And that's what this video is about. I'm Ryan from Rocky Mountain Tesla, and we're sharing the data because it's electrifying. It's making it easier for people to choose an electric future. And don't forget to subscribe if you want me to keep on making these videos. Now there are a bunch of different materials in the battery that are required. And I know there are are probably different problems associated with each one. I'm focusing mostly on lithium because of a few different issues. One, lithium is more than just a common element in a battery. In a battery, it needs to be refined and processed to be super high quality. So when people are talking about lithium being an abundant material, it's true, but the material that is in the battery is not just a grade of lithium that goes into medicine, for example, or other materials. The interesting thing about lithium is that you better learn from experts, because if you're just reading uh, things online or watching things on different YouTube channels, you might not actually get the full story on it. So what I want to point people to is where they can get the information uh, from people who are really researching this in depth. And I've done a lot of research on this, but I'm not going to continue sharing this on a regular basis. So that's what I'm going to start sharing in this video. So having said all that, I do want to say that I'm not doing this as an investment advice. This is something you have to do your own research. Okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way, here are the things that I have learned. Because this is going to require 9 or 10 times as much growth just for lithium, it's going to require a number of different things. First of all, demand. Obviously, demand is going to happen here. Second, innovation is probably going to be required. And three, and probably the most important of all these things, investment. People are going to have to invest in this to happen. So one of the major things that people have to realize is that not all lithium products are the same. The lithium that goes into a battery, there's a couple different kinds that are talked about, lithium carbonate and lithium hydroxide. Those products are not just mined, they are also produced, refined, there's a chemical process. It's not just a mining business, it's actually a chemical business. So very different than, say, producing oil. So we don't really have to worry about the demand. We can see there is innovation going on. What is the most important thing again? The investment. So what are people investing in? What you need to do is follow people that are doing the research. And I'm going to point you at three different sources of information. First of all, I would say follow Joe Lowry and the Global Lithium Podcast. His information is because he's been in the industry for decades and he knows what he's talking about. Second of all, there is the uh, ec excellent work that RK Equity and the Rockstock channel is doing in covering uh, different uh, sources of uh, lithium and different mining projects and their um, they're awesome and funny, funnier than I am. Mozzie, come here, come here. He's actually more entertaining than them, but you know. Third is the uh, excellent information that Benchmark Minerals Intelligence provides. They have uh, a service that you can pay for. Uh, it's quite expensive, but for an individual investor, they do have some breaks on on that service 
So the one thing I'll say is that if you do follow them, you're going to get good information on different projects and understand this industry better. Okay, you could just invest in Tesla and hope that they solve the problem. And I'm not saying that they can't. There is a chance that they will come up with the solution. But that whole concept of uh, adding table salts and water and, and apply that to sedimentary deposits, clay, that are rich in lithium, it hasn't been done at scale, I'll tell you that for sure. And if you listen to the experts, you will start wondering as well what they're saying. If the battery supply chain, everything from battery producers to the elements that are in batteries isn't invested into, we are not going to have enough batteries for electric vehicles. So either the OEMs start doing it or individual retail investors start spreading the message that this needs more interest, it's not going to happen. So I'm just telling you because it is a concern of mine. I do believe that every single one of these problems can be resolved in time, but it should be talked about or else it won't get resolved. The one thing I want you to do is comment and let me know if you've heard of any interesting investments and what are the experts saying about them? What are those people that are researching these companies saying about them? Because a lithium production resource might not be a good enough quality to actually go into a battery. It's a big difference. So if you want to keep on watching more Rocky Mountain Tesla, take a look at this video up here. And don't forget to subscribe.